Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there. Health and wellness during a time like now is more important than ever. And that's why in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys some of the smartest tips my mom taught me about health and wellness and also being a new mom myself, what I've been doing to keep myself sane, healthy and well. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Vichy. Vichy is a skincare brand that is committed to your skin and overall health. And you guys know I've been using their products for years and I absolutely love them. And if you guys want to see what our tips are, just keep watching. Two tips. If you're new around here, my name is Jen and I hope you subscribe and join the family. I post new videos here every week on lifestyle, beauty, skincare. So if you like those sorts of topics, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on anything new. All right, let's get started and show you guys these health and wellness tips. First, let's get into skincare because wellness for me definitely starts with having good skin. Now, Mama Chu always said to me, if you take care of your skin now, you'll be thankful in the years to come. Here I'll be using the Philosophy Nature in a Jar Gentle Detoxifying Cleanser with Agave. This is a comforting complex that leaves the skin conditioned, balanced, and refreshed, and I love it. I also like to use my Clarisonic Mia Smart to really get into the skin, get a deep clean, and the Clarisonic Mia is honestly one of my favorite face brushes. Now once that's done, I'm going to rinse with some warm water and then pat dry. The next tip I'm going to share with you is using a cold compress on your face, whether it's ice or a cold towel, which I'm using here. This is really going to help close the pores and make your skin just glow and have that really nice tight feeling. Once you're done this, make sure you dry your skin thoroughly before the next step. Another big tip is to use hyaluronic acid to add moisture to the skin. That's why I love Vichy Mineral 89. It's a non-greasy gel formula that has a high dose of the mineralizing thermal water and it helps against aggressors like weather changes, stress, fatigue, and pollution, which is why I love this stuff. Another great tip for skin health is to give your face a massage. Just use these techniques that I'm doing here to help drain away any puffiness, it helps with lymphatic drainage, and it also just makes your face less puffy, especially in the morning. If you find that you wake up with puffy skin, try this step. The next tip is to keep in mind the pH level of your skin. That's why I love the Pixi Phenomenal Gel. Some of the products you may be using could be too acidic or too basic for your skin type. So having a pH gel to help nourish, smooth, and moisturize your skin is key. So keep that in mind when it comes to your skin health, the pH level. This video would not be complete if I didn't talk about sunscreen because that is one thing that Mama Chu has taught me, sunscreen is so important. If you want younger looking skin, sunscreen is the key. The harmful rays from the sun may feel nice at the beach, but years from now you'll see so many age spots and wrinkles and fine lines way before you really need to. Also another great tip is to make sure that your hands on the back of your hands are nice and protected as well. Now let's move on to wellness tips. Have you guys ever heard of inversion therapy? This is a technique where you are suspended upside down. I call mine the inverse hang off of the couch. This helps blood flow to the scalp, flushes fresh nutrients and oxygen to the face, creating a glowing effect. So if you have a couple seconds, do this. If you're practicing health and wellness during these crazy times, light yourself a candle, relax, and really be in the moment. There's nothing like lighting a candle that makes everything seem to go a little bit smoother. Are you guys into the broth craze? Because we certainly are. Jeff and I have been making tons of veggie broth, chicken broth, bone broth, and this is filled with nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that are so good for your health and wellness. You can find recipes online. I remember growing up, Mama Chu would always make broth. It was like a weekly staple that we had in our house and we'd just drink it and it was so good and really good for our health. Since having to stay at home, we've been cooking a lot and I've been wanting to be very healthy. So here is one of our go-to dishes. This is brown rice with some carrots some mixed vegetables and broccoli, stir-fried, super yum. A lot of you guys ask me about my multivitamins and here are the two that I take daily. Even though this says prenatal, which I took during my pregnancy, I'm still taking these postnatal as well just to help with baby and with me. And these are the pills I take every single day. And another tip is to have one of these guys, these pill boxes, lifesaver. And lastly, I want to share with you guys this amazing book that I got. It's called The First 40 Days, and it's The Essential Art of Nourishing a New Mother. In our culture, the first 40 days after you give birth are the most critical and important. 
There's also a saying, 40 days of taking care of yourself will equal to 40 years of good health. And it's really given me a different take on how to take care of myself after giving birth. Because a lot of people, they're right back on the treadmill, they want to get their body back. But for me, it was really about taking care of myself and giving myself that time. I have the luxury of having Jeff be here and while we're staying home, I got lucky and he was able to help me and make me these amazing meals. So I'm very thankful for that. Mama Chu also came by with lots of good nourishing food. So I have been really, really lucky in this sense. If you know someone who's pregnant or is going to be having a kid, gift them this book. It's amazing. I'll link it below. And that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything new. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye for now.